my folks. <clears throat> so this is quite an impromptu life. I find that the more I plan a life, the less likely it is to happen. So no more planning. Just just going ahead and having it when I want to have it. And I have peace and quiet rather. Okay, so what I'm trying to do today is uh, just a fun thing to do. Nothing, nothing that's too difficult. <clears throat> Let me just... Um, happening here okay. okay so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to make this um, I'm going to make a few motifs which can be easily used uh, not just at Diwali time at any time actually but today's motifs will be Diwali themed um, and um, the whole point of these things is just to have something readily available um, to convert into whatever you want. They may initially or uh, more often be used as stickers, which I have used as stickers, but um, you can use it to make small cards. You can, you know, even, even those little um, gift tags, things like that, okay? So to start off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a two-inch... Um, Two inch um, pip, uh, what is this pip punch, circle punch? Okay, and I've used a rather um, a thick um, sort of a paper to cut it uh, the circle out. Uh, I've taken watercolor paper here, but you honestly can take any paper you want. Uh, I'm I'm using watercolor paper because um, I actually don't have an A4 of regular drawing paper. And what I'm going to do is, I want an A4 because I'm going to make um, color copies of this. And I don't want it to be larger or smaller than an A4. So this is all the A4 I had. I'm going to draw circles around and... Oops. So this is just a guide. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm not placing them perfectly. I'm just going to place them somewhat this way. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. Yeah, maybe I'll space it out a bit. So very often when I don't check how many will fit, I end up with uh, bad spacing. So I'm going to draw circles of this type. Okay, fill up a page. around two inch you can make this smaller if you like a smarter thing would have been to make a 1.5 inch circle and my my two inch or 1.75 inch circle and my two inch cutter would be perfect for just cutting it out right later anyway i like to hand cut a lot of my uh, stickers even even when they're regular shapes Okay, so there you go. So I filled a page with these. I am not sure if you can see them. They're just circles, pencil and pencil. Okay, this is my guide. Now inside these, I'm going to um, I'm gonna create some motifs. Hold on. So I'm taking my um, fine liner and I'm going to start. Let me just. Number three, yeah, number three should do it. Okay. Um, some of the motifs you can go to Pinterest and just have a look what what sort of motifs you want to 
you want to take a look at. I have lanterns, diyas. What else? Um, let me just check. Yeah. So let's start with something like lanterns. Okay. You can draw this directly, or you can choose to um, draw it in pencil and then have it um, inked, whichever. Up to you. So let's say I draw, but I'm drawing freehand. I'm not going to measure anything. You'll also notice that all shapes don't seem to fit in perfectly in the circle, meaning it's not placed centrally. Okay. Equidistant from both sides, no nothing. I'm just I'm just going with a then I can have um, oh, there's one here that's you know something like this okay. and you have a simple enough you could have um, lines going yeah, just to make it that's one then you can have um, Let's say, okay, I'm going to look at another lantern. Let's look at another shape. Uh, we have lanterns that are mm, um, this way. Oops. Yeah. And they have these stringy things hanging. You could have one here and one here a little lower okay similarly shaped if you want or another shape altogether that's up to you now can you hear the crackers outside <laughs> okay then let's take another motif what else can we do mm. one more lantern okay Let's try the classic, the classic lantern. What is the classic lantern? You have one that's hanging. And then it has this, okay, it is actually supposed to be broader. So this is pencil, so don't worry. You can make changes when you ink it, right? Now here you can have um, something like this and then have a central something like this, yeah. So three of lantern, let's make one with uh, firecrackers. Firecrackers are a, are a, they're a hit wherever you draw them. So you have your, this is flower pot. I forget the Hindi terms. One lying down. Maybe this one can have a center circle, a base. Yeah. And this one could have um, you'll find I like this motif a lot. Yeah. Okay, how about we have one with um, the rocket? Hmm. Now this can have circles, something like this, have another rocket close by or below, beneath, okay, so this is not going right, okay, and this one can have um, oblique lines. Your choice whatever you want to do now in some cases you will notice that I am going beyond the um, the confines of the circle and this is also intentional because uh, some stickers could have a little bit little bit of a protrusion we'll see what happens to those okay let's do one more firecracker and that is the I think the bomb aren't there these or we could have these yeah just the normal sticks mm. 
Okay, so something like this. Yeah, and this time we could actually have something like this, just to make it pop. Just an idea. Let's see. Okay, firecrackers. Do we have any other spare firecrackers? Let's leave it at that for now. Let's go on to lamps. Now, with lamps, although these lamps are a common thing, I mean, a very common motif, you could have a lamp which is sticking out a bit. Or the top of the fire sticking out a bit. Okay, so even your plain lamp, but slightly sticking out of your um, circle. You could have one right in the center. Let me try that as well. But this time I'll try a different type of um, shape, I mean a different shape. Let's try um, one of those that go like this. Um, okay, let's try a pair. Okay. One here. And one behind a smaller one behind and a bigger one in front oops okay and 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 this one you can have plain too mm -hmm. I'm just trying to think Next, let's try a lamp that looks um, this way, sideways. And maybe this way. Yeah, so my circle goes. Lamp's done. Let's go to something. Okay, this is this is a motif I love. That's the paisley. Now the paisley is going to have this circle, and we're going to leave it this way. So we can have a circle flower here. Think of ideas. I mean, I'm I'm not um, I'm not saying anything should be. done a particular way whatever you'd like could have one here too um, could have circles as you can see I'm not very creative this way in terms of thinking up something new no not creative on the spot at least okay we could have um, um, what else ah yeah my my uh, the, the other thing I love to do is, is a lotus. So these are your very graphic lotuses. Lotuses? Yeah, lotuses. Is that the plural of lotus? Again, sticking out a bit. Could have in between and a circular that looks quite like a party sign, but nonetheless. Um, and what else? And what else? Uh, we could have this, um, like um, you know, a toren. So you have squiggly lines and a flowers. And then another set of leaves. Okay, and another squiggly line flower, leaf. Same way, uh, another one going up here like this, where you have flowers, leaf. So, just an idea. Keep it there. Then we could have... Um, what 
the one last motif come on Shouldn't be that difficult maybe even something like a Okay, if you're wondering what I'm up to, I'm actually looking at Pinterest for motives, motives, um, or Diwali motives. Okay, if not anything, let's just have, um, I did this already, so it's okay. Let's put a star and just something like this. Make them varying sizes. Good enough okay there are many ways in which you can color this um, you could uh, simply uh, take a fine liner and draw out the outline okay so let me show you how that would look now this is where you can make a few corrections if you feel your image needed some tweaks okay, so for example I would like this raised and I would like my string straight okay and in the circle I'd like to put a pointy flower okay then you have the middle line and this could be a little better. This could be up. Okay, here I'm going to outline the circle as well. Now, in this case, let's take um, let's take another example where I can show you. Okay, this is one where I can do something very different. Let me just show you. Um, okay, I'll paint. That's the best way to do it. I'm going to ink this one too. You'll find these are common motifs I use even in my set of Diwali cards that are ready now. If you haven't checked them out, I suggest you have a look at my posts and you'll find something there. I have two sets of Diwali cards out that you could check. I probably should put something in here that is mm, what am I missing maybe the stick yeah probably the stick there's one here yep let's just do that and give it a Here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to circle it again. Evidently, sticking out now is the right. So that's two. This one I'm going to leave because I'm going to do something different with that. And let's just get started. I'm not going to be able to finish all of this in the live today. But I just want to get started and then I will show you a sheet which is already complete. And that can give you ideas for what to do.
Okay. Oh. your brushes when you need them. Mm -hmm. Where I have, just make sure you don't have pencil marks underneath where you want to paint. Okay, this one's fine because I'm going to do something else there. Okay. So, colors. Um, what color shall we go with? Nice and bright. Maybe green. So this is simple, right? This is not, uh, I'm not talking about, I'm not, uh, I'm not saying that this should be painted um, with a lot of shading or anything like that. It's easy painting. So, stuff uh, anyone should be able to do, really. Watercolor this is. And um, I'll do this one as well. Remember this is festive so try and keep it a little vibrant and since we are going to scan this eventually, vibrant would be better for um, the end product to be nice and colourful. Okay, I'm using a really big brush. Like I said, I can't find a brush when I need it. The size you need is always wanting. Mm. Ah. This is better. Okay. Now, you just have to make, be mindful of the fact that things are wet. Don't go in with the uh, paint next to stuff that's wet. Uh, what we can do is uh, backgrounds. Mm, you could consider putting a background here. Or mm, which one should we? Okay, this one may look nice in this way. Mm. Now, this is different from what my. The reason I did not ink this is because I'm making this a mosaic pattern. Crimson. This is crimson. Mosaics are easy in terms of understanding, but sorry about that. I should. Okay. The leaves behind, I'm going to make a little different. So, if you're keeping with mosaic, do that with the front leaves, is this color, that is. Anyone has any questions or you are just figuring out, trying to figure out what I'm doing? You'll see, you'll see.
white spaces are so important with the mosaic. You really need to leave those. Smaller brush is probably a better idea. I'm okay. I'm gonna change your brush again. So, like I said, a mosaic can take more time, but the end result may be a little more. Um, I won't say appealing, but more more unique perhaps everything's appealing when you hand paint honestly oops this can happen from time to time now that's a shape that got merged um, so don't do anything to correct that in at that point when you're doing when you're painting correct it later and for that you'll need a white gel pen or even gouache or something something that's a little opaque okay so just be careful you know what I'm going to just change the brush because this is a mistake waiting to happen For my regular painting that brush is fine but for mosaics I am I usually prefer this so much easier to add detail with a small brush Now this is done you can go in with another color because in mosaic things don't touch um, um, the leaves don't really sorry the uh, colors don't really touch so you can consider doing the leaves behind at the same time now what I'm doing here is I am light lightening the same shade Okay, it's, it's still um, crimson, but it's it's watered down. Ah. When it dries, it's definitely going to look lighter than the leaves and uh, the petals in front. And that's the effect. That's the effect I want. I was going to change the color to purple, but then I thought against it because it looked odd. Just too graphic. Oh, here's one okay all right done now this is done the background of the circle will be solid color and uh, um, the petal can also be solid but you know what let's make the petal different i mean not the petal sorry the leaf let's make the leaf different that's a different kind of mosaic okay these let's make them uh, almost like the like the veins of the leaf, you know, a longish mosaic, something like this. Okay, I was just thinking off the top of my head. I don't know how it's going to turn out. Oops. Don't make it too light. And definitely leave that white gap. Okay. 
before we go in with the background let's go back to this where we will put in um, a blue shape or shall we put in a purple hmm. yeah maybe purple is fine now I need to change my brush again Oof. back to just regular painting something very bright and nice oops watercolor dries a little light so keep that in mind if you want something to be vibrant go in a little darker as you paint itself so that yeah so that it looks Nice and bright. Uh, let's take orange for this portion. I'm I'm keeping in mind that I need to put in a a shade at the back, so I'm not going to use that color here if I can help it. So let's look at something like. Um, Shall we put that in the back? Okay. Lemon yellow. Okay. And let's go with indigo. Oh no. What is this dark blue? Ultramarine blue. May not be the best actually. Okay. Not ultramarine blue. Let's go with green. So the reason I'm, I'm doing this is because I'm thinking of putting a pink background to the Now here, let's have a nice bright yellow. Shall we put yellow? Yeah, yellow is a good color. Um, and I'm going with something like Gamboj. You can choose to make this shaded. So if you want your background yellow and orange, uh, you can try yellow and orange in the background. Just let me get this lower. Okay. Now take it this down here. Let's see, I want to go in with orange. Something else? Yep, this is good. Now for this one, we said we are going to do pink. But not a very bright pink. Um, yeah. A little more watered, probably. I'm still dark. Very easy painting. It's just, in fact, it's actually quite a pleasure. It's like coloring that we have when we, that we, our kids do, right? Easy coloring. You draw, you color it in, and that's it. Okay. Not difficult at all. Just turning this sheet a bit. It's starting to dry already. Everything dries very fast now in Bombay. It's really hot. It's really hot. A long way off from good weather. Okay. 
Now, if this is uneven, don't worry too much about it. Move fast, but if it, it does get a little patchy, it's okay. It's watercolor. Charm of watercolor. Okay. You will notice a little bit of patchiness there. I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to touch it. Here, I'm going to go in with a blue. But this is a cerulean blue. And I'm not going to go very... I mean, it's not going to be a bright, a very dark blue. Again, a very watered blue is what I'm... Do you know this? Okay. Now, you'll notice for the... For the this one, this one that I have uh, painted as a mosaic, I don't put black lines. Um, I don't use a fine liner. I just um, I keep it as it is. Okay. So the circle is now going to have a fine liner outline. And Somehow a fine liner doesn't go very well with a with a mosaic uh, sort of a pattern. I'm not sure why. I've tried it once before. I wasn't happy, or maybe it's just a personal um, preference, really. Okay. So this way, imagine you can do a whole lot of things for the rest of your sheet. Okay. Um, it doesn't take very long mm -hmm. unless you're doing a lot of mosaic. But if you're going to just leave it to a few here and there. And like I, like I said earlier, it's everything does not lend itself to a mosaic. So don't, don't try to do everything in that style. Um, even a plain outline sort of a thing is, is good enough. Why not finish this? There's my... So here I can put in... Should have been a little brighter. Okay. And let's put a nice dinge up. Blue. I'm being as Indian as I can be. Yeah? Color explosion. But it looks good for the sake of what we're trying to do. And not, not, we're not trying to get a subtle look. Okay, so this this way you can fill up all the rest of this. Okay, and very simply, let me show you a sheet that I painted last week. No, not last week, maybe a week before. Let's see the sheet. No mosaic. I just painted a plain motifs, Diwali motifs, but they're nice and vibrant, and. Um, what I did with this is, this A4 sheet, I took it to the photocop, I mean the guy who photocopies and I asked him to print a colored, take a colored print out. And this is the result of that. This is of course on sticker paper which I found to be more expensive, not required. All the colors don't translate as well as you expect it to. That's the thing with the color printouts. Um, depending on the paper, your colors may va vary a bit. So, like for example, this grey hasn't featured here at all. It's almost white. Okay. So, that, that's something that you're going to discover as you do these things. So, uh, this sticker paper gave me a not so vibrant finish. But, what's going to happen is, if I cut this out right now, um, I don't have to apply glue. I can just paste it wherever I want. Okay. So, let me just show you one cut out. Oh, maybe, maybe, uh, so, uh, all right, let me just cut one out, okay? So, what you need to do is just cut a motif. We'll take one which is regular circle and one which is sticking out. Let's do this. How would you cut this? So take your scissor and I like to leave a little bit of a white space outside or around the, the, sh the shape that you are cutting. So don't, don't have to cut it exactly on the outline, on the black outline. Okay. 
better to do this with a large scissor than a small scissor. Small scissor can be a little cumbersome. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just everything's um, quite imperfect, to be honest. So that's one. That's the other one. That's the lotus. Okay, so this is the second one. This one has no protrusion. So, in fact, this is where the circle cutter or the circle punch would be very effective had my circle punch been a little bigger or this circle been a little smaller. Like I said, if it is 1.75, I could have simply put my circle cutter over it, punch over it and just punched out the circle instead of cutting it. Anyway, that is a choice you can make. I personally love to cut, so... Even if I had the punch, it's highly likely I would cut. Okay. So that's, those are two um, stickers that I can peel and use and I'm going to use them right now. I'm going to show you some stickers which I printed on regular paper and this was like five bucks, five bucks for this printout. Um, they don't have any uh, glue on the other, on the reverse. So all I did was just cut out the shapes and... I uh, would use them on my envelopes, okay? So you can seal envelopes, or for that matter, you can have a look at these envelopes. Look at that. So, so many lovely things. It just it just makes the envelopes look, look so good when you have these kind of motifs. Very festive, very nice, okay? So this is one way. You can decorate an envelope by just putting one motif uh, on the on the envelope. The other option is, of course, you can seal seal the envelope uh, with it, with these things. I'm going to show you what else you can do with this. Let's say you want to make a, um, a gift tag, okay? This is a leftover piece of paper from making a card before, okay? So, you're in a hurry, you just need a, a card, okay, to put on a gift. So, let's say we take, we take this motif, yeah, looks good, yeah, and all you need to do is take glue, let's just keep the shape, how do we keep it, this way. Yeah, you can keep it entirely on it or you can little above, whichever, whatever you want. In fact, it depends on what you want to write on the side, right? So that's, uh, so in this case, let me just. Yeah. There you go. That's one. Now, if this is a dark sheet like this, you will need to write with a light pen. If not, let's say, let's take this, okay? And this is, again, leftover paper. I'm going to fold it. Oh, where's my... Cardstock is usually a little tedious to fold, so I prefer just using a bone folder. And you can merely cut it off. Okay, make a card. This becomes a sort of a card that you can put on top of a larger gift. And let's take a, let's take a sticker that we we actually cut right now. Do we have a sticker? Let me look at a sticker. Mm, where is it? Oh, mess. These are my regular cutouts and this is sticker, yeah, this is sticker, okay, this is a sticker and I'm going to use this sticker on this envelope, on this um, card, where's the other one? So scatterbrained. Here. No, these are the thin ones. Okay, I don't know where it's gone. The one that I cut. I wanted to show you that one because that one was sticking out a bit. 
Okay, I'm not going to fret over it. So this one is sticker. Let me show you how that works. There you go. And this is already got its sticky. Check your side. And we can place it in the center. Roughly the center. Not so much the center here. And you can adorn it. <laughs> Take a pen. Do something jazzy. I don't want a letter without should I letter let's just okay best to take a pencil Just playing around. I, I think I'm just gonna That's it. Let's give it a try. On a card like this, you could take a jelly roll pens. Um, I love using jelly roll pens. They're just so bright and vibrant. And let's say you want to write. Ah, that's the next thing that happens to bright and vibrant. <laughs> they stop working. I'm going to have to look for a color that works. Okay, not the best. It's looking a little too bright. So let's go with it. Hey Alka, sorry, I didn't look up for me to see if anyone said hi. Yeah. So the things you can do with just these these uh, <laughs> circles is amazing really and all you did was um, paint a sheet right and um, you can make copies of this uh, as many copies as you like um, and use it all through you will always have a good variety of things and these are quick so like I said if you keep a copy or two and just keep cutting the circles I have these circles ready and every time I have to send out my cards I, um, I wrap them up in brown paper and I put a motif and it's instantly festive so it's just great fun just great fun to do you can do a lot with this right so consider completing the sheet that we started okay if you are following along <laughs> complete the sheet um, and then don't cut the sheet Keep the sheet as your sample to always make copies of, and um, and then eventually cut the cop cut the copies, right? So this is my original. I will not be cutting this. I will just keep taking copies of this. And if it's if it's the five rupee printout, you can make as many copies as you want, really, because imagine how many is this? Three, five, ten, thirteen on a sheet. That's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> so yeah, that's what I wanted to show you. Um, 
whether it's a motif that's within the circle or outside of the circle, it just looks very festive and nice. So um, while we are on the topic of Diwali, I would like to remind you that Diwali cards and um, two sets of Diwali cards are out and ready for dispatch. This is the bouquet set, um, set of four cards here. These are five by seven, seven by five. I always get confused by the way dimensions, <laughs> by card dimensions. Should you be telling, uh, should you be talking about the width or the length or the height? Mm. Anyway, these are cards that open this way, blank inside, and uh, you can write whatever you want. They printed really well this time. Uh, I like the, uh, the shades, the original. I mean, it's it's quite um, similar to what I painted. The colors are quite similar to what I've painted, and uh, they printed printed quite well, really well. I I'm I'm quite happy. So the bouquet set is a set of four with white envelopes, and uh, the mosaic set. Oh, well, by the way, the bouquet set of greeting cards I also printed as uh, postcards, right? So if you want a set of postcards, these are also available. I know a lot of us are uh, postcrossers and just generally love to send postcards. Last Christmas, I was uh, I, I sent a lot of postcards last Christmas. So this is another option you can choose to uh, uh, um, purchase, look at. Uh, the bouquet postcards. These are 4 by 6 while the car the greeting cards are 5 by 7. You can see the size difference here. And then there is the mosaic cards. The mosaic cards uh, are also 4, a set of 4. Lanterns, crackers, diaz and the paisley design. Yeah. So if you think these are attractive, if you want a, a set, please let me know. They are ready for dispatch. I will uh, send them by register, registered post, uh, like almost the same day. <laughs> if you inform me in time, within working hours of post, post office, I can send those out. So that's that. I think I am, <laughs> oh, I am definitely ready for the Bali. <laughs> And I will be moving on to um, some Christmas cards as well uh, very soon. So watch out for that because I know there have been a lot of requests for Christmas cards to come out earlier than usual because people want to send it out. So those will come out soon enough. But in the meanwhile, uh, I hope you have a art-filled Diwali and, um, and are able to gift some... Of your artwork to loved ones to those who um, who are far away whatever you would like to do but keep um, it's lovely to maintain relationships over uh, over distance or by writing I found that I treasure a lot of uh, written stuff handwritten stuff which as opposed to emails I think over the years um, everything all greetings birthdays and festivals everything's become so electronic it just doesn't feel um, personal anymore so so I'm all for um, cards and uh, postcards and things like that and going back to the old way of writing to everyone so if you can write this Diwali uh, I would uh, definitely tell you to write and and for now, I will stop. I will have this recording up for anybody who wants to um, watch it. And thanks for joining in. I will probably see you after the Diwali. Um, happy Diwali to all of you. And um, I hope your festive season is grand and glorious. See you. Bye.